Hello my friends and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. In our last video we began a new mission quest, a polite society valentine style I think, and I left you off going to the general store with uncle. I, I, I did have to restart the mission again because I forgot about so, that. <laughs> what do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Oh, yeah. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? So, you're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. Uh, you're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Plenty out on the shelves, but I got more out back. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. Okay, so I needed to buy some coffee, and I can talk to the shopkeeper, I guess, if I get closer. Rouse? Examine? You not getting anything, Arthur? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Premium cigarettes. No, I think we're, we're good there. What does that say? Jolly Jacks? Kentucky bourbon. No, no, no. I feel like we already have some of that. What's, what's this here? Sweet corn. Peaches, salmon, ground coffee. Oh, well, that's just what I need. You? Ah, Quaker and Fitz high grade coffee. Well, uh, we'll buy some of that, apparently. Cause... Okay, if you're done, I'll meet you outside. I won't be too long. Well, I I'm, I'm very much not done. Ground coffee. Is that the only thing on the shelf that I can buy? Hair pomade. Examine. Dr. Lester's ever hold petroleum and gelatin pomade. It's <laughs> sure. Clothes, it looks like. What is this here? Okay. I wanted to come and talk to the shopkeeper. Sell items. What can I sell? What should I sell? Well, there's a lot of... I can't... The shopkeeper does not accept this item. Okay. I just bought that from you, so why would I give it back? Um, I just bought the coffee. I don't want to give any of my tonics or anything away. Food? No. Okay. But I wanted to browse the catalog. What is this about? Provisions. Wheelie, Wheeler, Rawson, Grocery, and Dry Goods Department. Okay, canned food, I guess. What does that say? <laughs> Danger, inferior dry goods flood into this country. These are known to the trade as seconds. Items that are of substandard quality have spoiled or been salvaged from an infestation of insects or vermin. The only way to, you can protect yourself is from buying them. <laughs> Wheeler and Rawson, the most reliable supply house on earth. On earth, not just like in, I don't know, wherever we are, but on earth. <laughs> Hang on. This book will be sent for free to any address, even if you live in a rural area 300 or more miles from a rail or mail depot. Send a postal card requesting a copy of this catalog. Wait several weeks and then return to your mail depot to retrieve it, even if you must travel through feet of snow for over two weeks to obtain your Wheeler and Rawson catalog. Please know that it will be worth it in, the, in savings. The catalog provides countless hours of entertainment as you huddle around the hearth, running low in the larder, growing thinner by the day as feet of snow swell outside, your worried mother turning the pages slowly, dully humming to herself, dreaming of how much better your life would be surrounded by the items you see before you. It's kind of messed up. This reminds me of like, wasn't it the Sears and Roebuck or just like the Sears catalog was like the thing back in the day? Like 18, 19, 19th century, 1800s, that time frame, which is where we are. Maybe I'm making that all up. I don't know. 
you will have you will no longer have to store food in a larder. For centuries, Americans stored their meats in boxes of salt, or by digging a hole in the dirt under the floorboards of the home, forming a pit and placing meat and vegetables in sawdust. Thanks to the purchasing power of Wheeler and Rossing, you can buy at wholesale prices and provide food for your family without having to tend to field, feed livestock, or preserve and can provisions for the winter. So I just buy everything from you guys. Oh, they're sold out of Jolly Jack's chewing tobacco. Okay. Wheeler and Rossin and Company Drugs Department. If you suffer from egg fever, chills, croup consumption, smallpox, catara, piles, sour stomach, disease bowels, blindness, di Fepsphia, lameness, or pneumonia. As soon as symptoms set in, place your order by postal mail right away. <laughs> we are sure to receive it. And upon consultation by a registered competent chemist, they will ship to you a cure that will arrive quickly within a few weeks' time. I mean, you just have to survive a few weeks, right? <laughs> we must insist you send cash to the full amount, you know, in case you're dead by the time you receive the cure. Please do not include partial payment or and correspondence imploring us to ship drugs to bring relief of suffering for a loved one and promise that a subsequent payment will follow. We simply cannot sell drugs and remedies at the lowest price possible while incurring losses and did not become the largest outfit dedicated to out of town mail order trade by engaging in foolhardy charity. Our gift to you is that you can buy goods at wholesale prices. We test every drug to ensure strength and quality. Our pharmacists and chemists, this is like, isn't this the time when people were given like cocaine and encouraged to, just to smoke for your health, right? <laughs> I mean, like, they probably, they obviously didn't know any better, but still. <laughs> Our pharmacists and chemists are under strict instruction to test thoroughly every batch of drugs and medicine to arrive in our department. From nerve tonics to liver pills to tinctures of opium or liniments and salves for women's troubles, rest assured that every day our chemists are independently verifying the strength and veracity of the claims printed on the outside of the package. Explosive, inflammable, or poisonous materials will come clearly marked when mailed. Because <laughs> you could mail it back then. <laughs> we sell family remedies that have been shared through generations for the relief of suffering of certain maladies. By conducting thorough research, we've recreated these med medicinal recipes in our laboratory, saving you the time and concern, hunting down ingredients to concoct a homemade cure when ravaged with fear and crippled with pain. While you can make these items yourself, the expense of having them is very small, and it is much more convenient to purchase them from us. In addition, while a loving grandmother is welcome to make her own recipe, it should be noted that as her faculties fade, so does attention to detail regarding medicinal properties, and she's liable to cause more pain and suffering than alleviate it. <laughs> the greatest mail order. <laughs> Your grand could kill you. <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> these are so great. I can't help but read them all. All right, hair tonic. Put simply, it is the greatest hair tonic on earth. You don't need to be bald. You don't need to be prematurely gray. J.J. McClure's miraculous tonic intensifies the flow of blood in the hair roots, making hair grow quickly. If you are going to pre if you are going prematurely bald, do not resort to, resort to contacting a wig or to pay manufacturer. They will be all too willing to sell you something to cover your shame. Instead, use JJ McClure healing hair and beard tonics and reverse the process of hair falling out and keep your hair and masculinity the dignified way. <laughs> if you are plagued with a thin, patchy beard, take this tonic daily and soon you will realize the full bushy beard worn by scholars, monks, and good lovers. Is that a thing? <laughs> The scalp will be invigorated, dandruff killed, and hair restored naturally to its proper color and density. J.J. McClure invented his tonic with a special recipe containing extract of cedarwood and lavender and has pledged to cure baldness in men and women, although the beard growing properties are reserved just for the menfolk. How does it know? How does the tonic know if, if you're a woman folk or a menfolk to grow beard? Just a uh, just question. Life is not worth living under the horrors of hair loss or baldness. <laughs> McClure healing hair and beard tonic restores color as gray hair conveys a loss of youthful vigor and that you are old and slow, <laughs> unable to process decisions as a young, vibrant person would. J.J. McClure fortifying hair tonic with extract of cedarwood and lavender. This hair tonic restores gray and hair to its original color, simulates hair growth, and leaves the hair and beard looking less stress and healthy. We posit They positively guarantee the results. Increases the rate at which your hair and facial hair grows. I need to, I probably need to stop reading these, but 
but they are so, oh, oh, look at the puppers. Do not put your dog down simply because you did not order the correct dog remedies. Our medicines and cures rarely, fa rarely fail. <laughs> so just sometimes. Our patented dog soaps are entirely free of poison. Other soaps used in destroying fleas, lice, and ticks can kill your animal. Miracle tonic cocaine chewing gum. <laughs> Miracle tonic. Um, see, I wonder about these. So it says it fully restores health and stamina. And I feel like... I, I have, I have, I, I need to figure this out because I've taken these before and it fills up the bars, but I feel like it doesn't fill it up permanently. It's just like temporarily. And I'm not, I'm not paying $4 for it. That's for dang sure. Okay. Ammunition. I'm going to pause here and then I think we'll, we'll come back and pick up at ammunition. Oh, horse care. Are there any, any things I should be getting for my horse? No. Accessories. Oh yeah. You guys have told me that the clothing in this game is kind of like its own, like glam is its own game, right? That's the end game. <laughs> but let's continue on this mission and I'll come back. I'm assuming I can come back at any time and finish reading this book. That horse gelatin? Oh. Here's to your good health, my sir. <laughs> Thank you. It's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Uh, really? Because you're such a catch? <laughs> Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house, acted like a servant girl, usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace train full of rich tourists heading to San Denis and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out near New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Uh, Where's Tilly and Karen? I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? Seemed easy. They have been <laughs> gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. No. Excuse me. Get your hands off me. You thought uh -oh. I wouldn't find you, Tilly. Huh? You can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get off me. Get your hands off of her. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get the hell off of her, you son of a bitch. Hey, hey, take it easy. There's no problem here. Really? There will be if you don't get out of here right now. Yeah, you tell him. Bye. Go away now. You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you right now. Go wait with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Uncle! Look after her! I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. So, I just want to point out, I feel like we are literally in the middle of nowhere. I mean, like, we're somewhere, but, like, it's... It's not like there's... It's it's a lot more spread out and less communicative, and, and we're definitely in the middle of nowhere. Anyway, my point is being, of all the places she just happens to run into somebody that she knows and has a beef with, or he has a beef with her, it's, I mean, game mechanic, but, like, what's the likelihood that would really happen? I'm guessing the, this is this is the hotel, because it's yellow. Can I help you, sir? Um, that we received yes. the true gift I'm looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk feather. Mid-twenties, blonde. You'd remember her. Yeah, they're in 2B upstairs. Are you uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. I, I don't want to aim the weapon at him. Look, I can take a bath here. They paid for the room up front, so I didn't ask any questions. Okay. Oh, serious, no serious now, music time. To be. Uh oh. I'm getting what I paid for. Hey! Hey! 
you? A friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. Ain't paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here! <gasps> Waste ah. my time. What the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him. Not very well. You okay? Fine. Oh, no. You sure? Oh, yeah. no. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just men. But stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. Yeah. I will. Oh, but sweetie. I hope uh, everything's okay up there. Well, it is now. Is she missing a shirt or something? After you. Oh, but look, she's got a bruise on her Thank arm, you, it looked like. I don't and much her... like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched me. <sighs> I have to punch Tim a lot harder. <sighs> All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Uh -oh. Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on, get! I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. yeah. Just a small word. Oh, just borrowing it. Yeah, I'm just borrowing it. Get back here right now! Oh no! Sorry. So sorry. Excuse me. Excuse me. I am. No trouble. Really? Because I feel like when you're accosting someone, saying, "Hey, I've seen you before. Aren't you a bad person?" Have to help me. Really? I mean, I could, I suppose. Please. A question. Do something. Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Mm -hmm. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. <laughs> yes, yes, me too. <laughs> now please pull me up, please, please. Okay, I will help you. I'm, I'm a nice outlaw. All right, come on. Today, anyways. There we go. You okay, partner? No. <laughs> no, I am not. I'm a mess. <laughs> well, you ain't dead. Yeah. There is that. Jimmy Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. <laughs> you saved my life. Mm hmm You're a good man, and I, uh... Here. You want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Oh. That's very kind of you. <laughs> but I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see, <laughs> I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? <laughs> I never saw you. Yeah, not, that's right. Not now, not, not never. I think we have an understanding. Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. I've got a good memory. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't. Not, not one lick. Not one sense in this year old mind. <laughs> Come on. Come on. You have a nice day now, sir. Hold F1. Yeah. That was really weird to ask me if I wanted to autosave. I, yeah, obviously, why can't you just autosave without, at, you know, it's fine. So mission brief, polite society, Valentine style, in search of the new leads for the gang, Karen, Tilly, and Mary Beth, convince Arthur and Uncle to ride out to Valentine with them. Oh, okay. 
Uh, I did not fi apparently find Karen within 45 seconds, but I did. Um, I did help the guy with his um, horse in the last video. I just have to say, Arthur is kind of scary. <laughs> like he's super duper scary. R, examine the plants. Pendian wild carrot. Wild carrot can be easily recognized by its long, thin stems and white clustered flowers. The durability of this plant means it can be seen growing across most regions of America, often along roads or in fields. This plant can be crafted into horse items or consumed to replenish your health course. Oh, awesome. And I can hold escape and get out so much faster, like one of you said in the comments. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let's pick. I don't know if I need a carrot right now. Okay. Is this one here too? Yes, it is. I wonder, do, do does the food in your inventory go bad after a certain point? What is... Compendium... Iguana scale trinket. It permanently decreases the damage the player receives while on horseback by 20, 10%. Okay, what is this? Cover scent pamphlet, a pamphlet recipe on how to craft cover scent. Uh, read? The tenderfoot hunter lies in wait for days, not talking detailed, not talking detailed analysis of the direction of the wind, wondering why they have not encountered any game. Hunting can quickly become tedious and unsatisfactory if careful observation to the behavior of game isn't, doesn't occur. This recipe will block your scent and reduce the range at which predators detect you. Blocks my scent from skunk, uh, beaver, and muskrat. How to repair. Obtain scent gland for a little heat over fire cup. Okay, okay. Thank, thank you. Put away. Is it still in my bag now? It is. Okay, I'll look at the rest of those later. I feel like I stole this guy's horse. Um... And I should probably return it. So let's head back to Valentine. What's that? It's a show. What? What is that? Bounty hunting. Oh, I don't. So I really wanted to finish this mission, which is done apparently. Oh wait, there was another. There was another entry. Um, progress, I think. Compendium. And then. Um, horses. American Standard Bread. Oh, they're race horses. Oh, that's why we're going so quickly. Identified by their agile frame, powerful limbs, and healthy coat. Both black and buckskin coats are found in the wild. A palomino dapple and a unique silver tail buckskin can also be purchased. This breed handles well, is easy to train, but can be frightened by loud noises. So not one for when I'm being shot at. <laughs> they're healthy and their average stamina allows them to maintain a fast pace for a long time. Well, that would explain why hold escape. I, I was running so dang fast. Um. Okay, what's what's the, what, what's the problem here? We only like Good roads. Evening, I wonder where this guy is at. Through here, like you own the place. Oh, am I glad to see you? Look out! You son of a bitch! Hey, I'm sorry. I'm really, I'm really bad at driving horses. But I wanted to return your horse, sir. Sir. Oh, do I really need to go back? I need to go back to my autosave, don't I? Oh, well, that's going to be interesting. Let's try that. <laughs> well, I just want to point out, this is where my autosave put me, which is nowhere near where I was at when it autosaved. Like, my horse is here with me now. I am now, like, where am I even at? Add marker. What even is that? Tempor oh, there's my temporary horse. 
Maybe I can take my actual horse to my temporary horse and turn in my temporary horse then? I mean, like, why would you auto save and then stick me somewhere else? That's so, that's not gonna be confusing at all. Like not in the slightest. Jump to horse. Why would you, I, I can command your horse to stay, flee, or follow. Okay. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Can I get on my temporary horse now? Now, where was that guy at? I wanted to give him his horse back, and now he's nowhere to be seen. Did he run away completely forever now? Are you him? Hey you? there, pal. Can you help me? Could you use some help finding my way home? Okay, okay. You can't make heads or tails where I'm at. <laughs> I live in front of the saloon next to the freight station. You know if I'm heading in the right direction? Uh, maybe? Sure, sure. Just head over that way. You'll get home fine. Thank you, mister. You're welcome. Certainly do appreciate it. Certainly do. Okay. Hmm. See if we can find this horse owner. Well, I wandered around and couldn't find the guy, so I I don't know what happened. It's not my fault, it's the game's fault because it loaded me okay. in in the wrong spot, which is really upsetting. Because how are, what's the point of a quick save if it puts you someplace else completely? That's, I'm sorry, I'm I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna like that. Although I did notice on my temporary horse, it, it, it a brush. My, my horse needs a brush, but I don't know hoping that I can buy a brush here, maybe? Amma, Amos, Levi, and Sons horse tag. I'm hoping I can buy a brush here. So let's go look. Is there a person here? Hello? Is it too late at night? Are you guys all asleep? I'm guessing you are. Right in here. No. Too late at night. Well, I could go all the way back to my camp, but there was this hotel here where I could take a bath. Maybe I could do that. Welcome back. Okay. Oh, it's uh you. Yes, it is. It is. Last time I checked. <laughs> I, I really don't need any more trouble. I didn't come to make any. I was just protecting a lady. Yeah. Well, all behind us now, I suppose. So what is it you need? A, a bath, perhaps? Yes, I, I would like... Can I have a bath and a room? And a room? You've rented a room and can use it to save progress, change outfits, or store weapons in the weapons locker. How do I know which one is mine? Aim weapon. <laughs> Aim the weapon at the guy. Well, clearly not that room. Baths. Oh, I see it. I see it now. Rub head. Scrub, 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 scrub. Would you lack any assistance? Uh, no. I'm, I'm good. Maybe another time. Oh, sure, no problem. Scrub, 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 scrub. We're good. 
scrub my okay. right arm. Scrub, 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 scrub. <laughs> it's very interactive. We're just going to scrub by the knee, though, and that's it. And then my right leg. My stamina has increased. And then I'm going to go and search the drawer, apparently. Search the drawer. Aha. Uh -huh. I can't take any of that, though. <laughs> I'm going to be unpolite this time and not close the drawer. So I'm going to leave them all out. So I fall. So I have to get up and go to the bathroom in the middle of the night. <laughs> I trip over the drawers. Can I take a take a nap now? How do I I do it. It's quite strange. Is it not this room? Is it upstairs room maybe? Well, look at you. No, no, thank Excuse you. Excuse me, sugar. Okay, baths. Yes, we did that. Where is my room at? Is my room upstairs? Yep, here we go. Me close the door. No. no. <laughs> Apparently, we're just gonna leave the door wide open. You dresser. Okay, no. Let's sleep. Let's sleep until noon, I suppose. Maybe we can. Maybe the the horse place will be open. And I can buy a brush for my horse, and maybe I can find that. I can find the horse owner who I ran into and then scared away and then reloaded and wasn't in the same spot. So, you know what? It's fine. <laughs> I, I will attempt to not be bitter about it. We feel good? We got a good night's sleep? Sort of. There's all sorts of things on the map. There's a question mark. I've got another mission here. I don't really want to do another mission yet. What I want to do is go buy a brush. Oh, is it raining? <gasps> it's raining. Let's go outside. Care to have some fun? No, I'm good. Thank you. Move! Welcome. You see that guy yet? Whose horse I borrowed? I don't see him anywhere. Maybe this was him right here? Whoa. Yeah. Is this him? Sir, is this your horse? No. Oh, well, I give up. Anyway, I'm going to pause here today and in tomorrow's video, I'm going to go and buy a brush maybe and then explore some of Valentine and no doubt see what other trouble Arthur and I can get up to. <laughs> but as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe and I will see you again tomorrow with another new Red Dead Redemption 2 video.